What's up everyone? Welcome to another box break. Uh, today I have a box of the 2018 Bowman. Uh, I got the regular box. Uh, so it's 24 packs and 10 cards per pack. Uh, I decided to get the regular box instead of the jumbo box because the prices on these this year are uh, Super super high uh, with uh, Shoei Otani having autographed cards in this set. Uh, they also have the Mega Box or Jumbo Box, which is uh, what is it? Three. You're you're guaranteed three autographs per box. Uh, this box, as you can see, it's one autograph per box. But the price on the Jumbos was just way way too much. And in those boxes, you get a little bit over 300 cards. And in this box, you get 240 cards. So I figured might as well uh, just get the regular box. And plus, like I said, uh, it's just been so expensive with everybody going crazy for the Otani cards, especially the uh, autographed refractors and super fractors and stuff like that so we'll start off with the first pack hopefully i get a decent autograph uh and i'd just be happy with a, a regular otani honestly uh this year's cards look really really nice uh I, I dig the design so they should uh look really really good signed uh sorry with all the glares it's kind of hard to uh find a decent angle but so first card uh Clory Kluber Chris Bryant Walker Bueller who just made his first start the other day uh he's been called up to the Dodgers before but uh it was always in a relief role Richard Urena so those are the rookie cards and this year again you get two uh well maybe three Chrome, but uh, this one's an insert. So first up, we got DJ Stewart, and then one of the inserts, the Bowman birthday cards. Uh, these cards look really, really cool. I dig the design. Uh, Michael Fulmer of the Detroit Tigers. Then we got Nick Prado. I'll be able to hopefully get that one signed. And Bowman Chrome of Austin Beck. Fernando Tatis Jr., another uh, super prospect for the uh, Padres. He's he's going to be a good one, but his autograph is pretty tough to get in person. Uh, he's already up to one per now. So Andy always gets mobbed by people trying to get his autograph. So not a bad first pack. Uh, I'd have to check the odds in those. Uh, on some birthday cards to see where they fall. Next up, so second pack we got Parker Bridwell, uh, former Oriole uh, prospect that they probably gave up on too soon, like they do with most of the pitchers. Austin Hayes, uh, he made it all the way to the bigs in, I believe that was his first year last year, maybe second year. So I believe these are one per box. The Bowman Sterling, uh, pretty good one to get. Let me get out of your way there so you can't see my reflection. But uh, so yeah, Vlad Guerrero Jr., pretty cool. And he is uh, having a heck of a year already in the minors. Mitchell White, Brian Mata, the Chrome, and Steven Duggar is my other Chrome. Carter Kiboom, brother of Spencer Kiboom, with the uh, Nats. Carter, he's another uh, tough autograph to get. He's one per uh, if you get him to stop and sign. A lot of the Nationals, uh, young young prospects are are getting tougher and tougher to get an autograph from. So Jose Barrios, Aaron Alter. 
Evan Longoria in his Giants jersey still looks weird. Not used to seeing him in a different jersey. Uh, Ryan Velade, the Chrome, super, super nice guy, signs everything. And then here's the Bowman Scouts Top 100, JB Bukowskis, Nick Sinzel, another highly rated prospect. Uh, I've seen the Reds like three or four times uh, this year in spring training. Was never able to get his autograph. Jesus Lozardo, uh, former Nats prospect. He's with the A's now. He just got promoted to double uh, A yesterday or the day before. So he's moving up pretty fast. So the A's might actually have a decent core of uh, really, really good young players if they don't trade them all like they usually do. So three, was that? Four packs down. This is the fourth pack. So, so far, not so bad. And the store that I got the box from, I've had good uh, good luck with them in the past. I think last year uh, I pulled an Aaron Judge Redemption uh, for an autograph on a Chrome card. I ended up putting that one on eBay. Uh, probably should have held on to that a little bit longer. So now we got Tyler Molly, and he's in the uh, Player's Choice Weekend uh, jersey. I believe that's what that jersey is, unless they airbrushed it, because Tops is Tops and Bowman are good at doing that. Rafael Devers. So we got a Delvin Perez refractor, and that's numbered 18 out of 125. That's pretty cool. I think this is something new they're doing this year: is uh, putting the serial number on the front, right there, instead of the back of the card. Uh, like they usually do So let's see what's in the rest of this pack So we have Michael Mercado Aramis Garcia for the Bowman Chrome Alex Lang And Sam Howard So so far, I mean the box hasn't been too bad. I've been getting uh seems like one one insert card uh, in every pack almost. I'm not sure if that's a hobby only thing or or what. I went around trying to find a retail uh, of the Bowman, but they were supposed to come out today, and I think some places got them yesterday, maybe even earlier than that, and they were selling them. And uh, they're sold out at Walmart and Target no matter where you go. I, I mean, I haven't been lucky enough to find any. Whit Merrifield, Chris Davis. So here's another insert card. Uh, Harrison Bader, Rookie of the Year favorites. That one is not serial numbered. I'm not sure how many of those you get per box uh, in the hobby boxes. Jordan Humphreys, Eloy Jimenez, former number one overall prospect, I believe. Drew Ellis. Helio Ramos, he's another good one for the for the Giants. Seen him uh, play a lot last year in the Arizona Rookie League, but I did not have any of his cards at the time, so I didn't have anything to get signed. I could have got him on a baseball, but I've been burned in the past with getting so many baseballs autographed by uh, people that never made the major. So we got Andrew McCutcheon in a Giants jersey. Also looks weird. Uh, Always thought he'd retire as a pirate. Bryce Harper. Roddy Reed. Really, really like these designs this year. Good looking cards. Khalil Lee. Super nice guy. I've seen him in spring training. Mm, very nice. Bowman trending of uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So that's two Vlad Jr. inserts that I got uh, in this box. Hopefully the autograph that I get will be a Vlad Jr. That'd be pretty sweet. Juan Soto, uh, he was playing in my hometown this year of Hagerstown, Maryland for the Suns and he just got promoted to high A with uh, the Nationals. So he's with the Potomac Nationals now. He's another, uh, another tough autograph to get. And if you actually get autographs 
He used to have a really, really nice signature where he'd write out his uh, his whole name, but now he uh, he kind of has like a JS for his signature. Not as nice as it used to be. Jackson Stevens, never even heard of that dude. Clint Frazier. Brian Miller, Chrome. Franklin Barreto, uh, Scouts Top 100. So that's another insert card. I think he just got picked up by uh, by the Rangers. Somebody did uh, got picked up by the Rangers. That was a, a big prospect with uh, the A's. Yeah, so far not so bad. I mean, not a bad box. Uh, didn't like the price, but you know. That's what happens when you get a, a big rookie like Otani, and then when there's a bounty of uh, it's over sixty thousand dollars for his atomic refractor, so it's going to drive the prices up of the boxes. Matt Olson, Paul DeJong. So there's my autograph, uh, Daniel Johnson. I believe I got a few few items of him signed already uh, since he's in that and like I said my hometown team uh, is a Nationals affiliate so not a bad looking autograph and the chrome autographs I think they're uh, they're harder to get than the regular paper autographs I believe so next up we have Austin Voth another Nat Probably won't be able to get that signed because he'll be in AAA. Oscar De La Cruz and Kristen Stewart are the two chromes. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, be able to pull another autograph, who knows. We'll have to wait and see. Next up we have Garrett Cooper. Jin Ho Singh was able to get him this year in spring training. Uh, had a lot of cards of him. He he only signed two. I mean, can't really complain. He actually signed, so you know, can't be too greedy. All right, another Bowman birthday card. Luke Weaver. These cards are really really cool. I really dig those. I like the design. We got Corbin Burns. Adam Hazley. Might be able to get that one signed this year. Chris Rodriguez and Eric Lauer. He just made his Major League debut the other night. I think maybe it was last night for the uh, Padres. Didn't turn out too good, but a uh, really nice guy. He signed everything for me in spring training. So hopefully uh, he does good and he's able to bounce back. Josh Bell. Razel Iglesias, Marcel Zuna, AJ Puck, uh, big time prospect for the A's. I believe he's got uh, getting Tommy John surgery. Talent pipeline card of the Angels. So we got Jemai Jones. I don't know if it's Jemai or Jamie. Uh, Matt Thace and David Fletcher. It looks like it's a refractor. I don't know if all of them are refractors. Evan White. Justice Sheffield, Chrome. Aaron Knapp, and Nick Solak. Solak, Solak. Let me try to adjust this camera a little bit. Maybe lower it will help with the uh, the glare and everything. I doubt it though, but you know, we'll see. Alright, next up Alex Verdugo, Max Fried, Victor Robles, a uh, big prospect for the Nats, Chris Sale, uh, another Bowman Scouts top 100, Leody Tavares. So that's a good one. He's a nice guy. He signs almost everything that you have. 
Kyle Cody, Joe Adele, big time prospect for the Angels, Kevin Lavallee. Charlie Blackman, Aaron Judge, Tommy Pham, Andrew Stevenson, Jose Adoles Garcia. Looks like we got a refractor. Bowman Trending of Sixto Sanchez. I believe he's with Clearwater right now. He's a he's a tough autograph to get from what I've heard. Mackenzie Mills. Trevor Rogers and Jorge Mateo, uh, former Yankee prospect, got traded to the A's. So Harrison Bader, Chance Cisco. There's not a lot of Orioles in this set. Which, I mean, Miguel Andahar, uh, he was caught up, and he's doing really, really good for the A's. Or, I'm sorry, for the uh, Yankees, uh, Ronald Acuna. He is making his Major League debut tonight, I believe. Uh, another top 100 prospect, Adam Hazley. I think he's in low A uh, with the Lakewood Blue Claws. So I'll be able to send that off to the parents and hopefully they can get that one signed for me. So the last Bowman I bought, I don't remember getting this many inserts in it. And that was also a hobby box. So maybe this is something that they changed this year. I'm not sure. So we got Albert Pujols. He's, I think it's time of the recording, seven hits away from 3,000 for his career. Porto. So we got a Chris Sale insert numbered 317. 317 out of 499. Uh, another uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Not the autograph I was hoping for. Jake Berger, uh, White Sox top prospect. He is done for the year. He got hurt in spring training. Will Smith was able to get him in spring training. Uh, nice guy. And Luis Robert, or maybe it's Robert, I'm not sure. But uh, he is from Cuba, I believe. Yeah, he defected. And the White Sox were able to sign him. Uh, I think he's either in low A or high A right now. And I think that's his first. It should be his first card. But I could be wrong. Will Myers, uh, if you've seen in my other videos, another guy that I got a lot this year in spring training. Nicky Delmonico, former Oriole, another one they gave up on too soon. Well, they traded him. They didn't get really anything good in return, I don't believe. Jack Flaherty, Rookie of the Year favorites, another insert card. Corey Ray, super, super nice guy. Kind of looks like all of his other booming cards. Bryce Wilson, Will Craig, and Glaber Torres. He just got a uh, Glaber. He just got called up uh, the other night with the Yankees. Made his MLB debut. So there's a lot of a lot of young guys making their debuts. Yoan Mancada, another big time prospect. Willie Calhoun. Was able to get a few cards signed by him this year in spring training. J.P. Crawford. Colby Allard. So another talent pipeline. I'll save that here for a minute. A hey, Oreo. D.L. Hall. Uh, another Padres big time prospect. Luis Urias. Uh, if you've seen in my videos, I was able to get his bat uh, from spring training. He's a tough autograph to get but he's going to be good. So we got the regular Daniel Johnson now to go with the autographed Daniel Johnson. So the talent pipeline, this one's really cool uh, because it's the Mariners and I see them a lot. So we have 
Kyle Lewis. I haven't been able to get his autograph yet. He's hurt uh, again. Uh, Braden Bishop, super, super nice guy. And Max Poves, Pops, uh, was able to get his autograph in spring training. So uh, next year, it's probably likely that I could get all three to sign that. And I like this year's talent pipeline cards better than last year's because it looked it, the pictures are a lot bigger of the low A or single A and double A guys. Uh, so it it'll be uh, easier to get nice autographs on there. So next box looks like we got another top 100. Yeah. So Sam Travis, top 100 prospect. Sorry, I'll go in order. Uh, so yeah, Dominic Smith. Manny Machado, uh, probably won't be wearing that uniform next year. Miguel Cabrera, Corey Knebel, Taylor Ward, Alfredo Rodriguez. Was able to get a couple cards signed by him this year in spring training. Alex Jackson, former Mariner prospect. He's a, he's a tough autograph to get. I think I got him maybe once last year in Arizona Fall League and Shed Long. The, the Arizona Fall League just was tough all around for me last year. I didn't get to go to as many games as I normally do, so it made it tough getting all the grabs. All right, getting down to the end here. So Dansby Swanson, Zach Granite, Reese Hoskins, Francisco Mejia, really good catcher. Josh Okami, Rookie of the Year favorite, Nick Williams. So I've gotten three of those in this box. Mackenzie Gore, big time prospect for the Padres. Dennis Santana. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. And uh, so the odds with these cards. Uh, there's just way too many inserts with this uh, with this set for me to go through everything and try and let you know uh, what the odds were of pulling some of these. So the scouts top 100, they're one in every four packs. So really, I should get five of them uh, out of this box since there's uh, 20 uh, since there's 20 packs. The Bowman trending, the one in six, so I could probably get three of those. I think I've only gotten one, so I don't know. Maybe maybe these last few packs are some really really good stuff in there. That's just waiting on me. Gary Sanchez, Buster Posey, Ronit Odor, hey Shoei Otani. So got a no Otani, just the paper version, but I'll take it. So that's pretty cool. So here's our chromes, James Nelson. So we got another Bowman trending. Of uh, This time we have Chance Adams. And <laughs> so here's the serial numbered card of my buddy, Daniel Johnson.